Right, question four. Transition metals such as vanadium and copper can have variable oxidation states and a wide range of uses. Okay, vanadium dioxide, VO2, can be used to coat glass. State the oxidation number of vanadium in VO2. So you're having to do just a oxidation calculation. So what we've got is VO2 is equal to zero because we have no charge on that overall. What you know is the oxidation state of oxygen is minus two. So this is actually vanadium and two minus twos giving us zero. So that's vanadium minus four is zero. So therefore vanadium must be plus four. Okay, so four or plus four or if you like Roman numerals, okay? Using orbital box notation, write the electron configuration on, in terms of sp and d orbitals for the vanadium ion in VO2. So vanadium is down here, being, this is not sneaky, but just be careful. sp and d means I'm going to have to have the p orbitals mentioned. So I'm not going to be able to do what would be quite nice is just to put the little kind of square brackets and go argon and then move on from there. That would be cheating because it says sp and d. Right, so let's let's start with what a vanadium one would look like normally. So we'd have a full 1s, okay, we've got a 2s, a 2p, a 3s, 3p, 4s, and into 3d, okay, and there are three. Although, not going to go into it, but the vanadium you should recognise is one of your weird ones, that actually it will promote from the two that are in the 4s up into the 3d to make that a half-filled subshell, okay. But that doesn't matter because that's the actual... Elect atom and we're looking for the electronic configuration of the ion. Okay, so this is four plus, so I need to have got rid of four electrons. So let's just take out one, two, three, four. It would leave us with 3D1. Okay, so it wants it in orbital box. So we've got our 1S, our 2S, our 2P, our 3S, our 3p and you don't have to put the 4s in at all I'm just going to go to the to the 3d the five of them one two three four and that's, no, that's not that's a bit cleaner okay so we've got our full 1s full 2s parallel then pair just remembering hund and full on the 3p as well and we've got one of them in the 3d and that's it Okay. Vanadium three ions can react with vanadium sorry, with iron three ions in solution. The reaction is first order with respect to V three plus and Fe three plus. Write the rate equation. So rate equals make it a small K, make it obvious it's not a big K. Uh, we've got vanadium three plus and Fe three plus. One mark. Okay. In the presence of a copper 2 plus catalyst, the reaction mechanism is, and it's given in a two step, state the order of the reaction with respect to Fe3 plus when a Cu2 plus catalyst is present and explain your answer. Okay, so with respect to the 3 plus, so find the Fe3 plus, it's here. And basically, it's going to be zero because this is in the fast step and it's not in the slow step. So explaining your answer is that it's only in the fast step or it's not in the slow step or it's not in the rate limiting step, which is meaning not in the slow. Okay, explain why copper 2 plus can be described as homogeneous. So this is a straight definition. If something is homogeneous, it means it's in the same state. So copper 2 plus, EQ, same state as your V3 plus, which is also AQ, and your FE3 plus, which is AQ. Okay. Last one is a wee calculation. In the Middle Ages, Damascus steel was used to make for making sword blades. The steel from a sword blade of mass 1,300 kilograms, sorry, kilograms, grams, that would be a very, very big sword, uh, was found to have a vanadium concentration of 71 parts per million. Calculate total mass of vanadium. Okay, um, you can only do this if you've got this knowledge bit. Okay, what you need to know is that parts per million is megs per kilogram. 
or megs per litre if we're looking in, in volumes. Okay, so in this case, we know that we're told it's 71 parts per million. So that would mean that 1000 grams gives me 71 milligrams. Okay, I have 1300 grams. So I'm going to do that divided by that times by that gives me 92.3 megs. That's all needed to do for a two mark question. There are other ways around to do it, but I think that's definitely the simplest way. And that's your question.